Uh, it is a violet. <laughs> it is a violet bolt of uh, fire, clearly not natural, as in like um, from wood, uh, that comes flinging out of my hand. Uh, it looks like a tumbleweed that it goes flying through the air, and uh, tr- this violet tumbleweed tries to set the creature on fire. Okay. Uh, right here's my macro. Uh, an 11 for 8 fire. That will hit. I will, no, it will not, actually. It keeps tumbling right past him. Oh. My tumbleweed! <clears throat> so anything anything that it does hit that it's not worn will catch on fire. So you start them. catching some random leaves and stuff that's on fire. <laughs> uh, it keeps rolling like past it and and starts catching more stuff on fire. Uh, fortunately, it seems to go out before you set half the forest ablaze. Petey, well, that's good. Okay, uh, let's see. So many options. I'm sort of digging how Monk works this way. It's like, there's so many things you can do. You can only do one of them, damn it. I... Having perfect body at level 20. I haven't gotten there yet. Give me a moment. Man. Okay, I think I'll try to finish off the one to my uh, right here with a, a stiff kick to the face and while remaining defensive. Okay. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do it, though. At least I don't think an 11 hits, does it? Uh, nope. Disappointment. And then you're re-entering your... Uh... Dodge, yeah. Okay. All right. They will all continue attacking. They all still have something to balance that out. So that's a 13 plus... Four for 17. Yep, 15 was the target. He hits you for seven points of damage. And you must make a strength check. As he grabs oh. you by the upper thigh. Is it a strength check or a strength saving throw? Strength saving throw. Okay, just checking. Here we go! Nope. Alright, he drags you prone in the process. No! PD! All right, Steven. Uh, so the one that dragged him down, does it still have a hold of him, or is it just, nope, just tripped him? No, it's not him grappling him. him. It just tripped him. Okay, I'll try to cut it in half anyway. Okay, that seems reasonable. No reason I will not use to. my inspiration. <laughs> Somebody's giving Petey the Kirby chant in chat. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> uh, that inspiration will turn your miss into a hit. So, yeah, good call. Woo! 13. 13, you do drop it in half. <laughs> and I'm like, Wah! Not much more to be said from there. So, uh, he's using like some I aluminum. Take a step over here. <laughs> yeah, it's just like this big hunk of, like, it almost looks like a sword. It's just a big sheet of metal <laughs> that's shaped into a, a great sword shape. <laughs> I like it. I can't right. believe it's not a great sword. Torin. Mm. I will uh, throw another fiery hammer at the uh, wolf. Okay. So, sacred flame, dexterity, saving throw, DC's 13. All right. <clears throat> And it has a plus two, so it will match. <clears throat> so and I then I will, s- I will uh, stand by. All right, Bilkin. Uh, stand by, PD. Um, Filkin will uh, use his last spell of the day to cast uh, Fairy Fire, uh, angling the cube so it only gets the two wolves and okay. like some trees and some grass. Uh, I'll choose violet as my color as well, so every object is automatically violet in this 20-foot cube, and the creatures need to make a DC 13 dex, or else everyone who attacks them gets advantage, and they also cast light for 10 minutes. 
they both make it. That's filthy fantastic. So, you uh, just, there's a wave of violet flame and it has, comes to no effect. Hey, can Ooh. I move and draw a dagger? Yep. Actually, right. if I can only draw one weapon, I'll pull out the quarterstaff. PD. You All already right. had the other dagger from last turn, right? So. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, thank you. Then I'll yeah. have two daggers out, please. I'll stand up because I wouldn't die. And I'm out of key points. What's up with that? So, I will have to go full offensive on this wolf here. He was looking at me funny. You sure you don't want to just get dragged out into the darkness of the night and die? <laughs> He'll have to drag me kicking and screaming. Like, literally, I'm kicking and I'm screaming. <laughs> DM takes requests, man. <laughs> uh, 13 will hit for 7. Which one were you hitting? The top one? Yeah. All right. They respond in kind. You no longer have your defense, right? No. Uh -oh. All right. A 17 to hit? Yeah. For seven more damage. Oof. And another strength saving throw. I am sure to make it. <clears throat> nope. You get knocked back on your butt again. As this wolf, like, leaps and lands on top of you, like a dog, and rides your little halfling body to the ground. <laughs> bad dogs! Bad dogs! David. Oh, man. I guess I will try to hack that one in half. <clears throat> uh, not so good that time. Nope. Anything else? The... Uh... I will attempt to move behind it so we can't drag him away that way. Okay. All right, you enter this area of violet fire, and you're like, oh, violet fire. Oh, it all looks red to me. <laughs> Sword. <laughs> it all looks red to me. I'm going to also attack the wounded... The wounded wolf. Okay. With my Warhammer. Rolling a one. No. Anything else? Uh, that's all I can do. All right, Filkin. Filkin, and I think I, I've set up this two-handed fighting, two-weapon fighting macro correctly, but uh, if, if not, let me know. Um, I'm going to use my Tides of Chaos to add advantage. Uh, obviously, it'll only add advantage to the first attack, my, my main hand. I'll just fire off the macro, and if I miss, I'll just roll a single attack. Does that work? Let me see. <clears throat> Tides of Chaos. Yep. Go ahead. Here's my double dagger macro. Looks like both hit without the advantage, so. Yep. So just to make sure I'm doing this right, I did not add in the extra Strength damage on for the my second offhand. One, that's correct. Correct, yes. Okay, all right. You bludgeon this wolf to death with your tiny, tiny daggers. <clears throat> I'm just channeling my inner bell car here and just doing two daggers just downward. Just, I, just keep, I keep stabbing long after he's dead. All right, <laughs> PD. Uh, uh, you can't keep me down. I shall pummel it. Pummel it thoroughly. It's the oh, only geez. reasonable response. Um, I think I'll even use that fancy inspiration thing. It seems like a good time for it. Does, does before, mean. before he chomps me up into little pieces. Hey, I turned, a, turned that first one into a hit. It did. Okay. This last one is going to launch a desperate attack at PD. He doesn't have any uh, anybody to group attack with anymore, right? Yep. So, mm -hmm. Nope. That is not going to do it. All right. I'm going to he's Jackie like, Chan out of the way, that one. He's ready to break and run. He's turning around. Steven. But I'm there. 
think it's over for him. Yeah. Who's the man now, dog? <laughs> Down, girl. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Yep, you cut it in half again. This seems to be a thing. <laughs> More boots. All right. <laughs> By this time, Rufus has actually gotten up. Oh, good. Rufus, you slayed more wild beasts. <laughs> he says, did I? Hmm, yes, Look what no. you did in your sleep, sir. How many of them did I slay? All four. Yes, Almost five. Yes. I will tell the tale of how I slew five dragon wolves while half asleep. They breathe yes. fire, I think. Uh, the bourbon you drink uh, gives you uh, some, some wonderful... Uh, Fighting prowess. <laughs> well, we, we set we set up a, a violent stage here to uh, better make sure that your actions of valor could be seen. That's why you're glowing violet for the next nine and a half minutes. <laughs> you guys, what's happening now? Uh, I think we. Uh, Petey, are you all right? You don't look good. Well, it was looking real sketchy there for a second. I thought I was on my last leg. But you guys <laughs> really can't... <laughs> you weren't on your legs at all, sir. <laughs> for brief periods of time, but I fixed that. But you guys, you really came through. I didn't think you would. But there you were. And you, f you, you beat them off. That was really good of you. Well, I was Great. woken up. <laughs> Rather abruptly. That, ex that explains everything. I need my I duty would, rest. <clears throat> I would uh, give you the healing of my god, but uh, I, I have no divine energy left in me. Well, then we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way. My watch is over. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I think we sure. should. Uh, I think we should. <laughs> move locations, I believe I might have disturbed um, disturbed our our night silence hmm. with a thunderous uh, roar. Fine. Heidi, I will carry you on my back if you wish, if you're unable to walk. I am quite strong and it would be an honor. Can we not just toss the carcasses out to a range of some feet and hope that anything that comes looking will find them? Wow, that's a pretty interesting way to do things. <laughs> Don't know if it's a good what way. It, what if it's their master, though? That would... Well, then he would see what we can do. I still, I still think we should change campsites. Uh, I'll pick up my bedroll and start <laughs> walking around. Oh. We'll just pack up our stuff and go. He became a barbarian after getting ticked off. The people kept waking him up. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, well, Soren, Soren, you've always supported my decision, so I will support yours. I think it sounds prudent. Okay. So you're shifting campsites in the middle of the night. Not by a gigantic amount, I don't think, but just enough where... <clears throat> I suppose I'll try to pick up a piece of firewood or something, make a torch out of something. I don't know. Okay. I can't uh, see anything. Can, I can cast light. I cast light on your sheet sheetrock or metal. <laughs> oh. Your your Renfair prop you stole. <laughs> That's handy. Renfair prop. <laughs> Fantastic. Doesn't matter how blunt the instrument is, as long as you push it hard enough, it'll cut. All right. In <laughs> so, you're going to need to start a new round of rest because you were disturbed in the middle of the night, yes? Be sleeping in, yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, so, who's taking the watch after Edie? I'll take the next watch. Okay. I need you to immediately make a perception check. Do <laughs> you have low light or dark vision? No, sir. It's going to be a disadvantage. Oh, nice. I get to use that macro. Aren't I on watch with him, though? Bilkin, you are successful. Thank you. Oh, did you want to play cards in the firelight? 
I thought I thought uh, uh, Steven and I were on the same watch together because sure. I was trying to get to know him. You guys so I, can I do both a... make checks. All right. This is perception. Oh, yeah. it's better than last time. <laughs> 14, no modifiers. Okay. So I'll be teaching you some weird card game that seems to favor the dealer, which I am. <laughs> <laughs> I keep dropping hints about um, being not terribly friendly towards the uh, elven aristocracy. All right, Filkin, you hear a rustling coming from the southeast of your campsite. It looks like wherever your last campsite was, something is about to go through it. And then in the dark of the night, you're looking out, and you notice someone looking back at you. It's like a small, like a halfling size, but completely pale of skin, wearing nothing but a loincloth. And it sees you seeing it. And begin speaking to you in gnomish. Uh, like telepathy or actually out loud gnomish? Out loud. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to chuck a javelin in that direction. Well, it's like 300 <laughs> feet away, so. Oh, well, in that case, I won't. I will stand up. You also haven't noticed it yet, unless Phil oh, yeah. says something. So, yes. Oh, St I can't David, I, uh, I, I need you to trust me here. There's there's something in the in the night uh, just remain silent and uh, do not raise the alarm yet, unless you hear me scream. I will. I'll walk maybe sixty feet towards this. Um, this. I will hold a sharp stick at the ready. The ghost gnome. I should kick James and Adam out for not having beards. So true, gentlemen. <laughs> so That's true. Fair. How dare fair. you show up on this fine program? Where we support two things, hats and beards. You can't discriminate against my handicap. I can discriminate against it, and I will. Those who are beardless and hatless should go home. Guest spot only. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Filkin, what are you saying? We have been seeking safe... Uh, passage to uh, learn from a temple. Uh, it seems that you are some guardian of that temple. We did not intentionally intrude. So he draws a longsword from behind his back. Says, the temple you are seeking is surely not ours unless you wish it to be your prey. David, you you know you hear this, you hear that there's something out there, but you can't understand what it's saying because you're gnomish. I will just keep like thirty feet, like one round behind Filkin if I can. Okay, Filkin, you're moving towards this guy. I moved sixty feet, so I'm two hundred and forty feet away, I guess. Okay, um, he also begins moving towards you. Uh, is this a temple of Honduras? This is not the Temple of Endorus. You come to the Hive City of Catacombs. Uh, can you give us directions to uh, the Temple of Endorus? As a little you bit move lost. towards him, he moves towards you and says, If you enjoy your mortal life, turn and leave immediately, or I will reap your soul from your bones. I will back up, keeping my eyes on him, but I will definitely back up towards the camp. We're, we will leave. We don't, we don't says, want anything to do with the Hive City. Right, as you turn and move, he says, The living are not welcome in catacombs. Go. I'm going. <laughs> then, then he's like echoing the word go, like, go, go. <laughs> and he tries to like disappear into the night. If you want to, you can make a perception check versus this. Oh, uh, all right. I can't, can't hurt. A nine. Yeah. So, like, he tries to be mysterious about it, but uh, you catch the signs of his passing it's directly back to the tower ruin. Like, n like, if there's something in his path, he just steps right over it, doesn't go around anything, and... Uh, Reaches the edge of your vision and disappears. 
huh. Uh, I'll go back to camp and, and uh, Staven, I think the situation is safe for now. Uh, and we badly need the rest. I'd like to wait and discuss this in the morning. Um, I think we need the rest. All right. If you'll, if you'll wait and not wake them up. Poor Petey has been mauled. We may make, may need to make sure his constitution fights off the rabies. Oh, I suppose that's true. What What was it? Um... I'm not 100% sure, but I think we we're being fooled. Someone is trying to trick. Someone trying to. Someone is trying to trick us from going to the temple. But I was uh, unwilling to test them in combat last night. All right. Right now, because it literally just happened five seconds ago. Yes. Okay. Seven seconds ago, I was unwilling to fight. <laughs> <laughs> and we're supposed to go to sleep now. Uh, or just not, not, I mean, when it's, our shift is over, um, just continue like nothing happened and we'll wake up refreshed and then we'll, we'll tell the party what happened. You don't think we should warn them? Not I mean, they will be on watch, sleep. but all right. Well, I mean, we're the, we're the last watch, are we not? Mm, we were the first new watch. Now we need to sleep in tomorrow to uh, ensure that PD is healthy. Uh, I'll leave it up to you. I really don't know what to do. Well, if the threat is gone for now, we should just let them know to watch out for it. Okay. At the appropriate time when we change guards, but not, not waking them up in the middle of a sleep, I guess, is what I'm trying to avoid. No. Agreed. Just a to join this argument at the the morning time you need to start heading back to hub in order to make the session end correctly on time <laughs> we will take the warning to heart so uh you do head back to hub you make it with no other incidents and uh rufus brings back this map and prepares to organize an expedition on the hive city of catacomb <laughs> In the near future. In fact, you may see that as a mission next week. Uh, so, where can you join in on stuff like this? An excellent question. Why, if you're looking on Twitch, you can check below my profile for the area called Hub. You can even sign up to join next week's game. Fantastic question. Um, How can it be that easy? How can it be that easy? Why, there's even a whole sign-up system. And I'll be looking for sign-ups tomorrow. Adam, it will has... you be back next week? I believe okay. so. All yes, right. I believe so. Jim will be back, so we'll be looking for two guest stars. Uh, so yes, that does mean everyone from this week will not be able to return. <clears throat> How can it be that easy? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Apparently not that easy. <sighs> Uh, you guys will obviously have to fight tooth and nail for the guest star spots. <laughs> uh, you are all fantastic. Um, I need the two people who have parasites to either pay 100 <laughs> gold pieces for the renovity, or you're going to have parasites on your character until you get them removed. I have 25 gold yeah. pieces I can lend to a friend. Did, did we get paid? Of doing so. <laughs> Uh, you didn't get paid, because you didn't find the Lost Temple of Anduris. That's true. And you kind of pissed this guy off a lot. That was unavoidable. Wait, what do we do with him again? Well, well Filkin has... Specifically, Filkin was messing with him, right? I thought he didn't believe me, though. But actually, yeah, but you way, were all, I don't want to go kill all of the cultists. And he was like, yes, let us murder oh, yeah. all of the heretics. Yeah, I forgot about that scene where I totally disagree with oh, everything. Oh, yeah, that scene. That stands for. Yes. <laughs> you know, the one <laughs> where coming. the crusading cleric wanted to go wipe out the evil dwarven demon summoning pact worshippers. Yeah, that Mis one. The misunderstood dwarves? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I yeah, gotcha. I think it me making fun of him not being a good... Not in favor of the divine spark, but yeah, no, I totally 
<laughs> I totally <laughs> pooped on all of his core values. Okay. Oh, Everybody gains friends, 150 EXP. Friends, I'm sorry I couldn't find okay. the uh, the temple for you. I don't know where my math went wrong. Well, now we know where it is not. <laughs> That's a step. And uh, if you would like to do a write-up on the Google group after this, you can give it an additional 5% of whatever your level is. So, you know. 5% XP. All you it's had to do was take notes and write them down, like Matt, who obviously was taking lots and lots of notes. <laughs> well organized. Uh, my, <laughs> just checking. My, my summary last time was sufficient, yes? Yeah. Okay. It, it's 5% of what you need, or...? No, nope, 5% of the total for your XP. So if you need to... If your level needs 200, you gain 10. Ah, okay. Yep. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. Did anybody have any suspicions as to what was happening? <laughs> I am full of suspicions. Okay. Well, yeah, because you don't trust your allies. Yes, that. I mean, the the animals were definitely being guided by some kind of nature force, and I'm glad we didn't butcher the elk in front of the druid. Um, I don't yeah. believe that that gnome was a ghost. I think he was just wearing white makeup. Um, well, I don't even think he was undead. I knew the animals were doing something weird, but that's about it. No one has any like nature knowledge. My knowledge is not that extensive. Okay. I ha I have nature. Can I make a nature roll? Sure. Uh, yeah. It's normally a zero, but I have plus two for proficiency with my awesome bard skill. Mm -hmm. Those oh. animals were clearly being guided by a supernatural force, like a druid. An undead druid. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. Okay, so they're... That kind of keen intelligence could only be, you know, imbued upon them. Druid necromancer. Yeah. Now we know. They were not undead animals. Yeah. They were living, just <clears throat> being directed to kill. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well. <clears throat> All right. I'd like to, if I could point out that, uh, other than one detect magic, every single spell Filkin has cast has done nothing, other than getting attacked by <laughs> elk. Every every attack I've made is missed. Every saving throw is. I don't know. Your speak with animals has always been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I can detect magic. That friend. Yeah, summon mauling creature. <laughs> uh, I, had lo I had a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah, that was great. I'm glad right. I joined in. Yep. Uh, Punching and kicking is still a valid method of taking care of your problems. So the post yeah. for guest spots will be up tomorrow afternoon. Check it out. We might have to do a lottery. I'm not sure. We've never <laughs> had more people than there have been guest slots. PvP. Uh, we'll see. Dun, dun. Uh, as always, please follow, like, and subscribe. Uh, no matter what media you're following us on. And uh, we've got games Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 8 p.m. EST. So check that out. Have a good night, everybody. Take it easy. Thank yeah. you.